Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this wrestling figure information video. Uh, there's not much in the way of new images, uh, although we do have some to look at. But there's quite a bit of information being thrown at our faces, uh, so we need to go through all of this. Uh, let's start off with the Asuka Pop Vinyls, because this is a debacle. Like, I'm not sure that you could call it anything else. Uh, we don't know exactly what's coming out, where you're going to be able to get it, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, although I can bring a little bit of clarity to it now, uh, because it has been tidied up. And it is being reported that the normal Asuka Pop Vinyl is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, the green masked Asuka will be a Walmart exclusive. And the normal masked Asuka will be a Target exclusive. So it doesn't look like any Asuka figures are going to be on just general sale. Uh, which is a little bit crazy because she really is uh, one of the most colourful characters that they could have brought into the normal line. Uh, as well as that, there's this picture from Stephanie McMahon, uh, which looks absolutely awesome. This little set, this doll set. Uh, five dolls. You get Stephanie McMahon uh, in one of her WrestleMania attires. Uh, and you also get the four horsewomen. I'm talking about Bailey, Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Uh, if you're a fan of those doll figures, those superstars, uh, then that looks very, very exciting indeed. Uh, the next bit of information uh, comes courtesy of the Toys R Us Facebook page, where they put up this cryptic message. Uh, so I think for me, the thing that really stands out is the hashtag, which is hashtag true be continued. Uh, true being Toys R Us. Uh, so it's kind of implying there's an announcement on the way. Uh, and it could be to do with the Canadian side of the business, which, as we know, is continuing. Um, but that would seem like a silly thing to tease because we already know that. So are they opening some American stores? Uh, are some of the stores out there going to reopen under the Toys R Us name? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's very hard to figure out what's being kind of teased here. We'll have to keep a close eye on this situation. Next up, Ringside Collectibles are showing off this New Japan Pro Wrestling Naito figure. Uh, looks absolutely awesome. Uh, doesn't look like there's any articulation. It looks like it's a statue, really, uh, but great detail. Uh, really love the pose, his signature pose. He's obviously got a Tranquilo cap on as well. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, it's always nice to see New Japan products coming into the marketplace. This is obviously off the back of the recent pop vinyls that we got uh, with the Young Bucks now available. Next up, I told you there was a lot of information. The rumoured Elite release schedule has leaked. Uh, and uh, this hasn't been confirmed and obviously things can change. Uh, but this is how things are shaping up. So, for Elite 63, Dean Ambrose, Shinsuke Nakamura, Kane, Sami Zayn, Shelton Benjamin. Look at that. Apparently, Shelton Benjamin coming into the line quite early. Uh, and Dusty Rhodes. That would make loads of sense considering last year we had the SummerSlam Dusty Rhodes basic so an elite would make a lot of sense uh next up 64 seth rollins john cena samoa joe jimmy and jay uso which is a bit of a surprise because we had them in elite series 54 uh we've obviously just had the day one-ish battle pack as well uh, maybe this will be the fabric uh day one-ish tops uh which would be awesome um, and I do love the new face scans in that battle pack. That battle pack is my favourite battle pack of the year so far. Uh, the final one here, Kurt Hawkins, which we might have already seen because Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins actually went to Mattel and uh, this image was put onto, I think it was Kurt Hawkins' Twitter account. Uh, so you can see that this figure is progressing nicely and apparently that will be 
Elite Series 64. Uh, we've also got information for Elite Series 65. Uh, that should be, hopefully will be, Roman Reigns, Nia Jax, Rusev, Aiden English, which makes loads of sense having those two together in the same line. Eric Young. Eric Young. We finally get an Eric Young figure. Obviously, he's been the leader of Sanity for quite some time. So it's going to be awesome to get an Eric Young figure. And Rowdy. Ronda. Rousey. You know that figure is coming. And apparently, it's going to drop in Elite Series 65. Uh, more information on the way. Uh, this leaked, which uh, suggests that after uh, Finn Balor, which is the next entrance grate, then we should be getting The Rock. Uh, a Rock entrance figure. Uh, no news as to what era Rock it's going to be or uh, anything along those lines. Don't know what his attire is going to be. You know, there's been so many different Rocks when he was in, like, you know, Rocky Maivia. Then he was in the Nation of Domination. Uh, obviously, when he went on his, like, championship run, he had a different look again. Uh, so, yeah, it's no no idea yet which one it's going to be. But I think that's very exciting. Uh, I was expecting Asuka. Uh, Asuka was meant to be in this lineup. She was replaced uh, by the Finn Balor uh, figure. Um, so, not sure what's happening with Asuka. I thought she'd just be left back a little bit, moved back, but it doesn't seem to be the case what with this news leaking that it's going to be The Rock next. Maybe it'll be Asuka after that, I'm really not too sure. Uh, the final thing are these new retro figures. Uh, here you can see the lineup of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Daniel Bryan, Bray Wyatt and NWO Sting. Very, very cool. Uh, those figures look awesome and they are coming off the back of some awesome retro figures that we've already had this year. So, as I said, not loads in the way of new figure images. Of course, San Diego Comic Con is getting ever closer. We are literally two, three weeks away now uh, and you will drown in figure images then in two, three weeks time. Uh, you will get so many new figures announced. It is going to be a festival of figures, my friends. Uh, so we've got to wait for that. But at least these little leaks are still keeping us going in the meantime. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you're most excited for. If you like the video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, see you again next time. Bye for now.